Hey everybody, today we're going to be starting a new game. It's called Dark and Light. If you've ever played Ark, it's very, very similar to Ark. I'm pretty sure it like, even uses the same engine. You'll see a lot of similarities. But it's more of a medieval type thing with dragons and you know mythical creatures like griffins. So, a couple months ago, I played the heck out of this. I, I love this game to death. Now, my only problem is it isn't early access and... It's got bugs. So, so many bugs. It's even hard to record this because the game shut down on me like four times. But the game itself, I love. I love Dark, and I love this game. So, what I was thinking is I could start a series. Now, here's the thing. You guys know what the whole me kind of doing my own thing on YouTube now. Who knows? This might last two episodes. It might only be this episode. Who knows? I might get bored. But, for now, I'm planning on kind of doing a small series for this. So, we are going to be doing single player. I know most people who play games like this do it multiplayer. Look, you couldn't pay me to do multiplayer. I'll just give you that right now. No way. Oh, another big problem with this game is uh, loading in takes about 15 minutes. Uh, I'm not kidding. I've already been here 15 minutes. Okay, so now this is the part where we kind of pick our character. There's humans, elves, and dwarves, pretty much. Each of them get a different town that you start in. Now, I picked Elf last time, and I'm going to be picking Elf again, just because game-wise, Elf is actually the easiest. One of the biggest parts of this game is these little shards, like magic shards. They're, and you need them for everything. They're almost impossible to get with both human and dwarf. Elves have the only place, kind of like an open field with it. So, I don't know how you could play either of these two. But for now, and not to mention, personally, I always choose elves in the first place. So, yeah, and this is kind of the little map. Um, the elves are over here, the dwarves are up in the top right, and then the humans are a little bit to the left. Not all the way to the left, though. So now we gotta make our character. So it'd be great if the character would pop up. Okay, so, uh... One bug already in place. There's no person there. I can't really choose. I can't really choose how I look like if the person's not there. Um. Yeah, you know what we'll do? I guess we'll just pick a random one and start the game. Uh, this game is broken yeah this game is broken that'll be our name because this game is broken okay so let's see how we look um okay not terrible I've got a big beard my hair is blue I've got gigantic hands for some reason some really meaty claws if I say so myself Okay, so this is the starter town of the elves. So I guess let us go ahead and start harvesting up in here. Whoopsies. I attacked a villager. And when you attack a villager, you die. So I gotta be careful of that. There, There's my dead body right there. And, uh... I get... Uh, guess I'll just take his armor. Why not? Ha <laughs> ha! I stole my own armor. All right, let's keep going. We gotta go get some berries up in here. So let's. Well, for now, let's just keep collecting here. Actually, we did get berries. Okay, craft a rune of light. So, oh, I still have my old um shortcuts. Cool. So we gotta. Uh, okay. How do I craft it now, fam? Oh, I gotta go to the crafting menu. Which one was my crafting menu? I forgot. I mean, I guess I could just go here. Right, let's craft one here. We don't want to go overboard. Oh, I think I know which one's my... Yeah, that... Okay, cool. So we got that one. We gotta cast it now. I need to... Let's bring that bad boy down here. Bam. Cast. And then... Let's get Bam. Did 
Did I just make like a million? Oops, I just made a million. I dragged this here instead of this. Alright, well that was my bad. Alright, let's use a spell. Wham. Alright, now we gotta eat some berry. Okay, I gotta stop pressing that button. I gotta use my normal button. Let's just eat a bunch of berries. Rank up a melee craft skill. Okay, how do I do that? Melee crafting. Harvest stones. Okay. Gotta harvest stones and stuff. Let us go out into the stones. So, my plan, and this is the plan that I did last time, and I'm going to go with the same plan because it worked out. We are going to be building a house. Last time, I had it right here, so I had it right next to the town. I think I'm going to go with the same plan, maybe build it like over there, but pretty much the same plan. And this is like the best scenery, best scenery in the world. Pretty much this is the most beautiful town. We got a waterfall, we got mountain, we got some floating islands over there. Whoopsies. So honestly, I think this is probably the best place we could probably build. That's exactly why I chose uh, being an elf. But once again, it's actually very convenient because I would be an elf anyway. I don't really like being human just because well, I'm already a human. And I don't like being dwarves just because to me, I really don't find the like I don't get why you'd want to be a dwarf okay let's craft an axe here and then we'll get chopping and then this is one of the biggest mistakes I made in my early game last time all I did was farm I farmed to get a tame but here's that's not actually that's the exact opposite I should farm very little grab a tame and I can farm with the tame that's the easiest way because Tame is like unbelievably good at harvesting. Now there's spooky spiders over there. And there's... Oh, okay. Now here's another really big thing about why you should live next to a town. Watch this. That is a high level monster which I should not be able to kill for a very, very long time. So what do you do? You go up to it. You taunt it. Say what's good. And then uh, you run. But where do you run? You run to your villagers. What oh, is it still following? Whoa, there you are. Oh, geez. And then you just run back to your villagers. Hey, uh, can y'all protect me? Thank you. There you go. See, the super strong creature is dead. And it has nothing on it, which feels bad, but that's how you get rid of creatures. In the very early game, you just run up to your buddies. And technically, they're not even my buddies, but... Okay, let's keep harvesting. Alright, so we have unlocked the Sorcerer Staff. So, we can go up in here, craft one of these, and with this, we can do enchantments like fireballs and stuff like that. Oh, and then we got the draining spell. Let's make one of these bad boys. And if we equip that over here and equip our wand, we can suck magic shards out of things. So we can just go up to here and go whoop. And it's only giving me sulfur ore. There we go. I was like, it, it's supposed to be giving me magic shards. This is what this is used for. So we can harvest some wood. So this, this is how... Other people, like elves and dwarves, are supposed to get these magic shards. This is so, like, painstaking. It's so much easier just to go in, like, this field over here and just go ham on the things. In my opinion. Alright, let's grab, like, one more wood so we can finish this mission. Come on, give me one wood. There we go. Craft. Ah, oh, I just crafted one, though. Okay, well, whatever. Let's craft one more. Let's do it again, apparently. And then, oh, I gotta craft a second dra I mean, I guess I'll ne need this stuff anyway, but... It's just annoying that I have to do it again. Okay, equip it. Three. And then, I guess I'll just take this out. Put it back in. Right? Harvest. Oh, and I gotta harvest more. Okay. If you say so. Let's just wave this spooky purple wand at this rock. And harvest it. Harvest its soul. And then we'll soon get enough. 
And we gotta harvest some rock too, which we will actually here. I'll just start harvesting as I'm done with the mission. Okay, that's three. There we go. Eat flowers. Gotcha. Eat those. Reach new player level. Okay, so let's just... Oh, did I lose my keys? Let's just do stuff until we hit the new level. And then once we hit the new level, I know you guys are probably screaming at your screen. Ah, oh, it says level up available. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that once I hit the fourth level, and then I'll do that. You guys might be a little bit annoyed by all the circling walking that I do. Uh, I don't know. This game is very grindy. You just kind of sit in one place and do stuff. So for me, moving around is kind of fun. It adds the little bit of enjoyment to the whole grinding aspect. Melee crafting number two. We can craft a stone sword, which is sick. Stone pickaxe. All right, that'll help us harvest different types of material. Okay, come on. We need, like, two more XP. Whoop, I'm feeling fatigued. Take a rest. All right, I'll regain ma stamina. There we go. When I hit that level. Okay. So let's go back uh, to inventory. Let's see. What should we upgrade? I think we should upgrade for now. Probably. Let's put two in there. And then one in there. And then... One, two, one. Okay, there we go. Oh, some of these have new te uncommon wood, huh? Uncommon stone. I don't really know what those do. And there's a sheep. How you doing, sheep? Alright. Uh, what do we do next? I guess let's go to survival. Don't really have anything in there. Melee crafting. We have a stone sword, right? Yeah, we got these two range. Do we have anything in here? No. Blah, blah, blah. Fire magic. Can we make this yet? No, we can't. But uh, harvest sulfur. Okay, well, for now, we just have to do a bunch of grinding, pretty much. So let's make one of these. Make one of these. And uh, go ahead and fix this up. Uh, can I repair you? Pretty sure I can just click two, right? Oh, okay. Well, I guess let's use it until it breaks and then repair it. Break. Should be broken in a minute here. There we go. We can press two just to fix it. Just like that. Let's go here. Let's add this. I guess we can just put them in random places for now. Um, Let's see. Uh, probably used to mine boulders. And then this one's primarily used for harvesting wood. So, like, okay, let's kind of do a little test run. What does this get from trees? This gets mostly wood. Then, oh, oh, that's not good. Ugh, I hate spiders so much. Ugh, ugh, I don't like spiders. Why is that so close? Well, <sighs> Let's go grab our stuff. And I'm still kind of bothered by my gigantic hands. I, One of the things that I hate in games, and I'm not, like, it's just pure coincidence. I hate in games when you have unrealistically huge arms. I, I never got it. So this is, uh, stupid spider. All right. Come on. You stupid creature from hell. Like, come to your doom. Yes, you stupid arachnid dot Did you man these guys are OP y'all took one shot at that boy and is dead all right leggy boy how you doing you don't have anything on you I don't like you I don't nothing's creepy but that's another problem with this kind of area around here is nasty stuff tend to spawn uh, skeletons and reapers tend to spawn right there because there's a meteorite landing and then a lot of spiders spawn in this little area, which is gross. That's I also thought why I, I shouldn't build over there. So, eh, yeah, the little spiders spawn. And if I have tames, they're going to get killed. So I guess we'll take all of these. But, no, I need to put these on. Oh, wait, no. Give me those back. Well, I, technically, I guess I don't need that armor since I already have... What? Hello? 
It's a hyena. Okay. Yeah, this game is uh this game is great. Come on. Come on, hyena. Get over here to your doom. Dead. Okay. And my bad, it's not a hyena, it's a borgesh. But y'all know what I mean. It looks like a hyena, it is a hyena. Now I'm pretty sure we can't even build not even straw yet. Cause I have to reach level five. Okay guys, so here's what I'll do. Let me first of all drop these. I don't even know how to drop them. I'll do some farming. Do a little bit of leveling up. And then I'll be back. Alright guys, so I have made a campfire. And the cool thing about the campfire is it serves for a little bit of storage right now. I'm still not high enough level for even a chest. So for right now, I'm going to stick this stuff in here. Which, I just hit my max and... Come on, man. Why y'all... He broke my fire. Campfire. I mean, this is the life of a low level so far, but... Come on, you broke my campfire. I needed that. Alright, come. Stupid Bargash, man. Why y'all doing this to me? Just leave me alone. I got... I just spawned like five minutes ago. Y'all need to chill. What is that? Oh, that's just a uh, normal dinosaur. Okay, so my stuff is just kind of chilling on the ground, right? And this stuff is going to despawn. So I have to build like uh, another campfire. Er, okay, I guess let me just pick up this stuff for now. Which is kind of annoying. Can we build another campfire? No, we need more hay, I think. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, let's unequip this. I guess let's go around and grab some more. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can equip the sword, right? That'll get us grass and straw. So I guess we'll do this. This will get me a lot of grass, actually. Let's go ahead and make another campfire. No, don't transfer. Craft it, please. There we go. Okay, and hopefully Ahina won't come and completely destroy it this time. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's put this here. Bam. Now let's stick this in there. This in there. Uh... Okay, I can't move that stuff, but I can move flammable stuff, which, okay, that doesn't, what is this? Can I just eat this? I'm eating it all. Okay, so for now, let's a little storage place, and I gotta hit level 5 here, so I'm gonna keep going. Alright, there's cooking one, and spiced meat. Neat. So for right now, creatures like that are kind of out of our little level. Because I don't really have anything to tame it with. Because, of course, to tame it, I'm going to need bow and uh, arrows and, like, the special types of arrows. So, for now, all we can do is kind of give it a little... Th Whoa. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can kill it. Okay. Well, uh... uh okay. I admit defeat. I was wrong. I could kill the thing. Okay, well, maybe I underestimate myself. Also, well, actually, I think I know why. I put the settings up pretty high, so the game is a little bit easier. Again, the first time I played it, I played it at normal settings. And you got to remember, this game is a, a multiplayer game. So, uh, you kind of have to turn up some of the settings for single player. But, okay, it died quickly. Apparently, I do a lot of damage. Which is cool, I guess. Oh, and I leveled up. Okay. Let's do a little bit of... Put some weight on that boy, and then put our mana up a little higher. Okay, and we still need to get survival up, because I need to get that chest, so. Just keep whacking away, just keep whacking away. That's a bad creature. Oh, God. Run to the villagers. Is it Chase? Well, it is Chase. It blended in. Well, at least I didn't destroy my campfire this time. Ah. Uh, Alright. Please help. 
dead. Thank you. Man, I swear these creatures, man. They need to stop. Because I'm going to keep leading them towards their death. Alright. And this is exactly why you come here. Well, I guess you could do this at any other town. But I like it here. Because they're like right there at the gate. And they don't move ever. So. You know what? Let me kill this spider. This thing's been here forever. You know what? You could die. There we go. I'll take your fur. Is it gone? There's more? Okay, you. Are you alive? Okay, well, I'm gonna kill you. Bam. You are dead. So, I guess I could just kill myself. What? Oh, I was like, is something running after me? I guess I'll... Yeah, apparently my damage to creatures is really high. Which, in hindsight, is good because they too shot me, so... I'm going to need a fair advantage here if I'm going to be doing that type of stuff. I'm starting to get fatigued here, but a couple more swings. And we should be at the right level. Survival 2, there we go. So we can make the small chest. What about straw work? Harvest twine. Okay, well, we need to make, we need to get these things. So we need to start harvesting some straw here. So what we're going to do, let's build some chests. What do we need for chests? We need we need more. Okay, so let's go up in here. Drop off more of our wood. What is this? Rare wood. Okay, whatever. Um Yeah. So we're going to need to just run around and just kind of grab. There we go. We got the first one. And then I'm going to run around a bit more, try to get the walls at least. And yeah, there's some really cool creatures in this game. Like, there's... I mean, this is one of the weaker ones, but... It's like a Lady of the Light, or whatever. What is it called? I'm just gonna call it Lady of the Light. Light Elemental. Well, it looks like a girl, so I'm gonna name it Lady of the Light. And there's also Longhorns. And in a little bit, we'll go that way. Because there's like a little town. It's kind of cool. It's like a little fishing town. There's nothing really there, but... We could technically set up shop in one of the homes. But there's like trents and stuff there, which is really cool. And then one day we will fly. And we will go to vast, vast places. It'll be real cool. Alright, we're about to get straw work here. I think it's the walls. We gotta be like a 99% now. Literally 98%. Come on, give me like two more straw. There we go, straw work too. Does that unlock the walls? Yes, it does. So we won't have a door just yet. But we'll have walls. Alright, let's see. Where should we build? Because we... Well, another thing about this game is the building is kind of garbo. We need somewhere relatively flat. I guess it's relatively flat. So. Let's go ahead and make some foundations, right? can only craft three. I'm going to... I need more twine. Okay, well, for now, let's just craft three. And then we'll go out and get more twine. So we can craft some more. And also, I need these, but I just w I I'm, I need a lot of twine. That's what's what I need. Apparently, just a crap load of twine. Okay, got straw work three, so seven. Now let's build from like the highest place up because we can't build up. That's what I learned. So I well I guess this this is okay right here. Yeah, so let's build one. Uh, okay. No structuring in the city. Okay, so I gotta walk uh, walk out like right here, right? Yeah, I exited the town, so I gotta be like at least over here. But that's it's whatever. Ugh, and there's a hyena. All right, you know what? I'm tired of not killing stuff. Oh god. Okay, well, I would love to get out of this. But I guess we'll just go for now to the city, protect ourselves. Alright, and there's a boar. We're gonna have to. Th that's gonna be our first tame. Ugh, oh, come on, seriously? Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, I guess we could take this stuff and craft. But I still don't have twine. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave this stuff, and I'm just hoping it doesn't. 
despawn, I guess. There's not much else I can do for now. Let's just drop this stuff. And then let's exit the city. Okay, we exited the town. So let's build right here, I guess. Bam. Bam. And bam. And yeah, let's go. P Ugh. It's so frustrating when you're, when you're so early game. I need to get myself a chest pronto. I can't even move. I'm carrying so much stuff. We level up our weight. And let's go pick up that stuff so it don't despawn. And we can craft some more things, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's craft one, one, two, and then one, two, three. That should be enough. And then I think we're going to need pretty much all 12 of these, essentially. I mean, uh, I guess we'll need some ceilings, but we'll make that in a bit. For now, I guess we'll just finish these up. Please. Ugh. Of course it killed me. Of course it did. Okay, well, we'll just have to go back and grab our stuff, but uh, that's so annoying. And I was kind of stuck in place. Couldn't really go anywhere. So I had no choice but to kind of just be dead. It's fine, though. Although, I'm kind of cold. What are you two doing? Ow. Oh, they were killing that. And they killed me. Man, this game sure can get frustrating. So, another cool thing is, a lot of these NPCs are not there just to look pretty. You can trade with them, you can level them up to get better trades, or more advanced trades and stuff, which is kind of cool. They're not useless. Oh, there's another stupid hyena over there. What are you doing? What are you chasing? Either way, I needed to not be chasing me, because... I need to build this house if it's, my, if it's the last thing I do. Let's go over here. Just take all, pick up all that stuff, and I still can't move, right? Yeah. Well, let's drop this stuff and quickly kind of go build our home, and then we'll come back for it if I don't get killed instantly. So let's go over. Here. Let's start building quickly. We got to get this stuff done because I'm gonna get attacked. So I need to build a door. So let's build it there. Build another one there, another one there, another one there, another one there, and then one there, and let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Don't tell me it's another attack. It is another attack. Alright. You wanna fight? No, 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 no. Is he, like, destroying my house or something? What's with the... Is he doing an attack to my house? Can you stop that? What is wrong with you? Is that... Is this a hyena? No, it's a bar... Okay, you know what? I'm done with this game. Just die. Okay, and let's go get some more... Let's go get some more twine so I can make a chest ready. I keep putting off making the chest. I need to make the chest. The chest should technically be my priority. So I'm going to make the chest like right away. There's my ranged crafting. I can make throwing knives which are completely useless. So is the stone tip spear. There's no reason you pretty much use either of those to be honest. Oh, I'm feeling fatigued. Alright, let's head over here. Let's see if we can make our chests. Pick these up. Come on, pick them up, pick them up. Ooh. What are we missing for the chest? Uh, Do I, do I seriously need like one more straw? Okay, there we go. L one straw came in just in time. 
perfect. Can I walk at least? Oh, I can't even walk. Okay. I guess what we'll do. We'll drop the wood. Plant the chest. Come back. Man, this game sure is annoying sometimes. Which, actually, I'm, I'm going to grab, like... Can I, can I walk with two? Okay, because... Even if I plant the chest, I'm not going to be able to walk still. So I'll grab half for now. And then let's like slowly waddle to our house. Go away. Actually, I'm going to need your stuff. So you stand still for a moment. Jump up here and let's place our chest. Where is it? Actually, I'll just use item. And then I guess... Let's place our chests over here in this corner. Bam. Let's go up in here. Let's just place some of these tools for now. But really, we gotta go back and grab. Gotta go grab that wood. So let's just place all this stuff. And I'm gonna grab a lot of this stuff out back. But I need to go grab that wood. And then we'll keep farming for now. Just so I don't forget, let's go ahead and place that here. We can actually place that there. Get the fire going so we have a bit of light. And I guess we could craft some meat. Let's take the meat out of there. Let's also add it. And that's how you craft stuff in this game. You kind of have to use the items to craft. Place that in there. Craft all 59. And let's actually drop this armor just because it's like identical. So we could drop, drop, drop. Okay, let us continue. Uh, getting more. I gotta get more straw and twine. That's what I need. Even though we're pretty much not gonna use any of that stuff for now. It's good to have in case one day I want to become like a master builder. I'll be able to use it. Okay, let's head back here and let's kind of keep building here. Now, I'm not going to make it one story. I'm going to make it two story. So I'm going to keep building walls or not two story. Um, but I, I don't want my head to hit the ceiling because the view angles can get annoying and stuff. So let's at least try to get one of these done. And I'm pretty sure let's place that there. Place that there and place that there. And then let's get these things down. Bam. Bam. And let's get another chest going here. How closely? Can okay, there we go. So I don't know how close I can build it. And did I build any ceiling? Apparently not. But I'm going to keep finishing the walls for now. Actually, we only need four more. So one, two, three, four. Let's get some ceilings. I guess we just craft five ceilings. While that's going on, let's increase our weight once again and our mana. So yeah, let's bam, 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 bam. And then let's get the walls on a hotkey. I guess we'll make them the equal sign. One there, one there. And then once we build this, we're technically kind of done with our building for very early game. I mean, there's, we kind of have limits on what we can do. So we're going to need a couple more here. Not too, too many. We've already gotten about half. So we need about four more. All right, let's put the finishing touches on the house here. One. Oh, okay, I guess we could just go from here. Hopefully, can we hit this in the right place? Oh, God, how am I going to place this down? Like it, I need to get, like, just to the right angle on this. Oh, there we go. Bam. Okay, so there is our starter house. Cool. And then... Let's see kind of what's, well, clearly kind of what's on the list next is we have to increase our ranged crafting so we can get the bow and stone hook arrows. 
with making those stone hook arrows we upgrade our taming and with the taming we'll finally get the feeding trough and the feeding trough is what we're gonna use to tame the creatures so basically right now I just need to get a bunch more twine so here's what we're gonna do for the rest of the episode I'm basically gonna be getting this up and then what do we need for this sulfur twine arrow and magic shards and the sulfur we pretty much have everything because the sulfur is from here we actually take that yum yum and then the, the everything else is pretty much just materials from outside so for the rest of the episode I'm gonna harvest twine all right ranged crafting two so now we can get the stuff to actually hit the animals with to start taming them so now basically we just need to make a bunch of stone hooks and to get that trough. Alright, so first let's make the wooden bow. Yes. And then we'll go ahead and make some arrows. Which is, like I said, just straw, twine, and stone. Which we'll probably need to get more of here. We need a lot more straw. That's kind of what I'm coming to here. And we can get a lot of grass with the sword. And then the, the grass slowly becomes straw, but... Again, keyword, very, very slowly. So, I don't know. I guess we just have to wait kind of for it. Stone, wood. Okay, there we go. So, let's go. Actually, we need to go here. Let's make a ton of air. Oh, can we make seven? Dang, they take a lot of straws. Oh, wait, no. We just made a ton. Okay, that's good. And then over here, we just need some more sulfur. So if we kind of dip our hands into here. And turn that bad boy back on. Let's go ahead and craft all 14. And these things, we shoot into a creature to make them go to sleep. And once they're asleep, we put the trough next to them, feed them. That's how we tame them. Turkey's egg. Okay, so with that, we're going to have to make the trough. Now, what am I missing here? We just need more... We just need more straw once again. So this stuff needs to start decaying quickly. Alright, there's 20. Oh, okay, I guess we can just reset that. Let us make the trough. So, we are pretty much ready to tame a creature. Which we will tame the boar. Which is our first tame. But... I'm going to end off the episode right there for now. Next episode, we will get to that. So for now, let me just throw this stuff in here. And this stuff is just going to turn into uh, into straw. And we'll do more organization next episode. For now, though, this stuff just needs to kind of have a place. Bam. We actually need... Actually, I'll just eat that for now. I know it's going to hurt me. But yes. Okay, guys. So... Yeah, I'm going to end it here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.